Today we're visiting Jim Budd's stained glass studio nestling in the Welsh countryside. I recently completed the conservation of some medieval glass and was delivering it to Jim who was about to put it into a stained glass exhibition for the Church's Conservation Trust and I simply had to share with you a studio tour. This has to be one of the most interesting and cinematic studios I've ever had the privilege of visiting. This is a medieval barn originally, yeah? Yeah, well, I think about 1700. 1700. Uh, yeah, a threshing barn. So what are you working on at the moment? Well, this is, um, Hannah's taking apart this panel here, which has um, uh, been smashed up by an intruder, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, strangely enough, it's a window we've worked on before, so we were able to pull the rubbings out. <laughs> That's handy. <laughs> That's a, a brass rubbing from uh, New College, Oxford, done around about the turn of the century. Yeah. Um, it's just there just because we like it. And what about the coat of arms above? What's that? Um, that's just made of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a tremendous array of work here. I can see you're doing enamel work, you're doing traditional stained glass painting work, you're doing slumping and acid etching work, you, and also a lot of metal work as well. You're really kind of, you're, you're doing a lot of the heritage crafts here at the studio, yeah? Yeah, we try to keep everything in house um, if we can, including all the metal work and, and making um, protective glazing systems, um, wire guards, that kind of thing. We do all that here. Amy's working on a uh, window that's come out of a door for Kington Museum and they don't know where on earth it's come from. Hair cutting and shaving. Oh my, where, where could that possibly have originated from? <laughs> <laughs> but it looks American to me. There's the door there. Oh my goodness. No, nobody knows. You've been telling me also about a, a project, um, a, a huge project that you've just recently completed. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. We spent 14 months um, conserving a six meter high um, window from the 1820, well, 1821 it was put in, and it is a uh, Georgian painterly window, so there's pieces of glass this sort of size. Yeah. Um, nearly 80 of them, crown glass, um, clear glass, or just painted and enameled, a little bit of stain here and there. So this is a sort of photo montage of the um, the wind did, we'd been working on at um, St Thomas's Dudley yes. um, with these beautiful painted angels um, designed by Benjamin West who was uh, the president of the Royal Academy 1779 to 1820 um, and then above is a, a figure of Christ taken from the um, Raphael's Transfiguration um, so the scale of this it's it's five and a half metres tall these, these um, panels here are 490 wide by 380 tall so it's a big big window and there's a very delicate bronze frame holding together all these panes of glass um the story behind this this particular um picture is that the original pieces are all in color and in the black and white are the pieces that um were missing so these are just um uh, taken from a, a, a photograph not a very reliable photograph either um, and these are the pieces that we painted new in this whole scheme. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's about a millimetre thick. Um, so um, um, some very intense edge bonding experiences trying to get all this. It's also very undulatey um, and we've had to, you know, glue everything back in the correct plane. So the whole thing has been technically quite demanding. Um, I'm glad to say it's all back in safe and sound and... Uh, and uh, looking as it should. So this is your laying out table, is it? 
Yes, it's got lots of rubbish laid out on it right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. So draw it, it, uh, my drawing table, really, um, or our drawing table. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, everything starts off up here, really. There's some nice bits of um, slab, slab, yeah. or Norman slab. She wears three rich old colours, aren't they? George Brack, um, that's just a copy of a of a well-known um, design that he did in uh, um, Hattie uh, made a series of quirky little panels. Yes. Um, now this one here is quite close to my heart in the sense that it is a design um, by Brother Gilbert Taylor, who was a monk. He was at two monasteries actually, one in Printage in Gloucestershire and one in Scotland at Pluscard and Abbey. Yeah. And this is his monogram of uh, the w a window that he put in in Plus Garden Abbey. Anyway, um, he was a friend of mine, and I used to help uh, help him in his studio. His uh, tour de force of stained glass is up at Plus Garden, where the um, the east window there is is fantastic. It's like one of the most amazing stained glass windows you'll ever see. <laughs> um, and uh, so it's been a it was a privilege to know Brother Gilbert. We had a lot of fun and did a lot of work. <laughs> No, this is a terrific one here. Have a look at that one. It's really lovely. There. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so some of these we're going to put into uh, light oxygen and some of them we're protectively glazing and putting them back into the windows. Yes. Um, but there's some stunning ones here. And we've, you know, done, we've been edge bonding, we've been um, plating yeah. to, um, where necessary. What's the earliest piece of glass you've worked on then? Oh, um, probably um, late 13th century. So yeah. that'd be like 1290-ish, I suppose, <laughs> isn't it right? Yeah, yeah we are um, working out a scheme for um, protectively glazing the, um, some of the roundels yep. um, using um, bronze uh, channel. Um, we're just using wooden blanks so that we don't put any stress on the glass panels themselves. Yeah. Clearly has some glass that's been edge bonded with Araldite 2020 resin. Mm -hmm. um, um, been supported on a on a bean bag um, just to take the, the undulations and take the weight of and so you can get the you know, a perfect set between the pieces of glass. That's a great idea. Yeah, and so, really it's, so it's not a flat surface, you're actually contouring the surface. So yeah, the set, just to settle it in, you know, yeah. it's a brilliant, it's a bit of a, when we were working on the large panes of glass, which were really undulating for the, um, for the uh, Joseph Backler window, um, we discovered really using these, these bean bags and it's just been a, a revelation. Oh my lord. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And have you had these pieces for years waiting for the right project to work? Well, I don't think you're ever going to get the right project. <laughs> Look at this. This is a, that is such a fantastic color. Oh. Yeah, gold pink on plum. Oh. Never heard of that one before. No. I'm... Is this, is this all sort of Hartley wood or? Yeah, it's all. Who the, who's the maker? It's, it's all the Hartley wood, yeah. Really? It had to be designed and we made a window for in memory of my mother and we did use some of our special glass for that. Oh. <laughs> it looks like it's a very busy studio. You have a lot of projects on, yeah? We do. Um, yeah, especially as we've spent a long time on the last one. There are, <laughs> there are a lot of building up in front of us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we're very fortunate um, but, but, uh, that we have some, we've been doing some really interesting work and we've got some really interesting work lined up so uh, yeah couldn't um, can be happier about that thank you so much Jim for spending time with me today and giving me a studio tour I've loved it thank you for coming and uh, yeah it's been a very, it's been very nice to have a good chat mm -hmm.